Hello, we are here. We're at the Safari Park and it is raining. On the way here, there's big hills and it was pouring. The driver doesn't really seem to know what he's doing or where he's going. Stalled, I think, three or four times. Hit a massive pothole, but we're here. The rain has settled down, so we're about to go in. We have our tickets. We're at the entrance. Hopefully we still get to see the animals. They said they'll most likely be hiding, so yes, we'll find out. Hopefully it's not a complete washout. But we're here now, two hour drive, so we'll soon find out. Good morning. This is one at a time. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you're itinerary, uh, so this tram will take you to the first drop of area, the base camp. Yeah. And then the attractions is Aviary Dome, overlooking Kangaroos, Wallabies, and Gimo. Then also from base camp, you will go to the farthest attractions first. So another tram will pick you up there, going to White Lion yeah. Safari. Next is the Camel and Birds of the World, and then after African Savannah. So after those attractions I've mentioned, all the way down is walking and self-guided tour. Can you use the virtual map as your guide or you can follow Andre the signages also. The cool. bird show will start 1.45 p.m. I'm sorry, at Safari Stadium. So since your tour is mostly walking, for your safety, please walk designated paths. Thank you, Mark, sir. Thank you very much. They have just informed us most of our tour is walking, not in the bus or the tram, so that might not be so good. Hello. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I just got dropped off at the base camp. Now we are going to look at the Avery, check out some birds. Hopefully the Avery is undercover. This is a good weather. Yesterday we ate too much and went to sleep. <laughs> Yesterday we ate way too much and slept half the day instead of coming out. We should have came out yesterday and ate and slept today. <laughs> it was a very good buffet and I have no regrets. It was the buffet at the waterfront casino Oh, you could eat best quality food I have had at a buffet ever. It was $27 Australian and it was very good. Didn't have the camera on me. I can chuck in a few photos here.
No. We have some bird. I have no idea what it is, but we'll check her out. Right, right, right. We have 20 to 25 years. You can hear a lot of birds, but I'm struggling to find them. They're all hiding from the rain. I've got a big fat one in the nest right here. <laughs> All the parrots are hiding at the moment, can't see any. Do get the rainbow lorikeets in Australia, get them in my garden. We get these ones this one? at home, yeah. Is that from the Australia? Yeah, we get them in the home. Mm -hmm. One day we'll get one of these ones home. <laughs> Yeah, not a heap going on through there. Most of the birds are hiding. See the one type, they obviously didn't care about the rain, but the rest of them did. The rest were hidden. You could hear them, but not see them. With Rose, you see her and you just don't hear her. <laughs> Okay, I've got a pretty nice view over here. Go show you. Just about to jump on the next tram, go off to the next spot. After sir, if you're ready, this is going to White Lion. You can ride at this one. Yeah, yeah, cool. Maybe we'll just go White Lion. I'll see the White Lion.
I've been wondering why they're called white lions, but their color is brown because they're not albino. It's just mystic animals, so it means they can adapt the climate where they were staying. Look at my white spots. Look at my white spots. Thank you. You can proceed to the top, sir. Thanks. I'm very much. 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 Have some camels over here. Oh. Have some roosters. Africa is well known for its roosters. And an African pel pelican. Because, yes, Africa is full of pelicans. <laughs> Never seen a safari rooster. <laughs> Uh -huh. Look at it. 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 Look at it.
I have another bigger Avery here. Not seeing all the different ones, just the one type again. Others are in hiding. Most of the parrots are just staying in the house, the doors are open, they cut in if they want. Hello. 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 Scared them away. One tried to bite Rose on the ear. Just take it off, baby. <laughs> Yeah, the rain stopped now, so it's quite nice. It's a tiny bit humid, but pretty good. All the birds are starting to come out, so hopefully we'll get to see the rest of everything else later. Here we have some scarlet ibis. Don't think I've seen these ones before. I've seen normal ibis. These are like a peachy sort of, I'm guessing, scarlet. Mm. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,
I'm on that, don't on that. I'm 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 on that. Oh, my God. He's nibbling my ear. He's out, he's giving it a bit of a bite there. He thinks my ear's a little tasty. Oh, my glasses, I don't want to lose my glasses. <laughs> You have so many for there. Oh, oh. Got another one, five. Oh. I see another one in the background coming on. Come on, come here, buddy. Jump on. <laughs> I am the parrot man. <laughs> hey, he's out. Ah, don't need my eye. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, they're getting a little nibbly here. Ah. Ah, he's got my ear. Look at him. He's munching on my ear. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go back. No, they're all straight back. I like here. Okay, today we're at Cebu uh, Safari Adventure Park. So far, the adventure is these birds eating my ear. Ah. No one's got to taste the blood, I think. He's, he's trying to like my glasses. <laughs> oh, here. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I think my ears nibble pretty good. Let's see how I can get. They're all coming in. I want to see how many I can get. Oh no. Can you go for it? Okay, today we're here at Cebu Safari Adventure Park. The parrots have taken a liking to me. They like my ears and my hat. They like everything. I'm not sure how many I've got at the moment. We've got a few going on here. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You can get back to the tree. Thank you. Yeah, that's enough. Thank you. Tell them that. They're coming back already. Have a good day. See you later. Still got a couple followers. Thank you. Well, oh, that was definitely an experience. The thing. Uh, the one was a little nibbly on the ear. <laughs> the one started trying to eat my eyebrow. Yeah, one took a liking to my earlobes. Oh, wow. Gave that a bit of a nibbling. Yeah. Oh, we have a lot of fish here. Check this out. No, nope, he wants to taste my finger. <laughs> okay, got some fish over here. Got some big ones.
Ja. Okay, as soon as the rain went away and the sun came out, got the birds, got the fish, got everything going on now. Some nice views here as well. I think it's cold and wet. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What are you thinking? I'm lying there on a big house. Have some more baby ostriches up there. Try and get a photo. Okay. Yeah, what do we do? Where do we go? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just got to African Savannah. About to go have a walk, have a look. Hey, your little legs going. Here comes to African Savannah. I'm going to be a So the one it looks like a goat is called Blessback, so that is the famous Blessback. So Blessback is a South African antelope having a large white patch down to the center on its face. The purpose of white patch on its face serves as protection against the heat of the sun. So they can run up to 70 kilometers per hour. So on their horns can grow up to 3 feet or 36 inches. And for the lifespan of the Blessback in the wild is about to 20 years. Then the scientific name is Delicious Calderitas. <laughs> Okay, and for 
towards the next antelope, so what you can see in your right side. So the one with the spiky hair and dark brown color is called waterbuck. So waterbuck is a stocky antelope of sub-Saharan Africa that commonly frequents streams or wet areas. Uh, they will produce unpleasant odors that makes the predator choose another prey. The male has horns while the female does not have horns. Okay, for the next antelope, so as you can see in your right side, so and that is the male greater cooby. Again for the next antelope, so as you can see on your right side, so the one it looks like a common cow with white stripes on her body and with a short spirally twisted horns in both uh, in both uh, sexes and that is called elan. So female elan can produce up to a six liters of milk and it is three times more nutritious than a cow's milk. <laughs> Again for the next antelope, so as you can see in your right side, so that is the Gimsbach or the Oryx gazelle. So the Gimsbach is the largest strikingly marked Oryx or Oryx gazelle that formerly abundant in the southern Africa. They can run up to 60 kilometers per hour, so their horns can grow up to 3 feet or 36 inches. <laughs> The next is the zebra. The zebra is the highlight of the African savanna. So the zebra, any of the zebra swift African mammals are related to the horse but distinctively and conspicuously patterned in stripes of black, dark brown and white. The purpose of the stripes of the zebra serves to dazzle and confuse the predators. So zebra can run up to 65 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Okay, Mom and Sir, that's everything here in the African Savannah. So, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the world. And don't forget to watch our first show, 145 Game Hats in Paris. Just stop, grab a drink. See you later. What's stopping him from us? There is a big ass lion over there and I'm not quite sure what's stopping him from coming over here. I see a very small electric fence but still I'm not sure how that's stopping him. Here was a big beautiful lion. We're off to see some crocodiles now. Oh, he's a big boy. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, sorry. He is a fatty. We have a big fatty just here.
That one's not big. Yeah, the one we saw was the biggest one I've ever seen, babe. Right. And yeah, the one in Manila was insane. We've got lots in here, just little ones. Oh, look here then. I don't think you meant to go on this, I don't know. Here's the fat one. Here's a fat one too. That's a good photo, this one over here. I don't know, I'm not sure how we get in. Where do you wait? Where do you wait? There's cheetahs straight down. Apparently there's cheetahs straight down the hill, so we're going to see some cheetahs. Rose has a safari themed umbrella going. It's raining. It's not really bad. Balik, balik, <laughs> There are the donkeys and that's pretty fitting as this is the ass end of the tour and we're about to leave. We're just making our way out of Cebu Safari. Ended up having a good day. We've got a pretty cool roundabout here. I'll just show you, they've got some statues. I'm not sure what they're made of, but yeah, they've got some statues of the animals. Looks pretty good. Oh. Ooh, got a big butterfly there. Yeah. So a beautiful one. Just like you, baby. Okay, I'll quickly go for a walk around here, then take some photos. The Let's go to quickly do a walk and I'll be back. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there we go. Yeah.